gonna start streaming. Yeah, I'm about to Ooh. as well. So I believe once we start, we just tie it on and then string away. I've now abandoned the hammer in oh, favor yeah. of... Just pushing it in? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have told you to not even hammer to begin with. No, it made me feel... Made me feel strong. <laughs> you know? Okay, good. So you're just going to tie it around one of your nails. And then I'm just starting to string... Oh, just... Everywhere. All over the place. Yeah. And then it will start to get more and more filled in as we go. So... Our hanky panky Mary are kindly pushed aside. Since you love Harry Potter, maybe we should do Harry Potter characters. Sure. <laughs> it's gonna be weird. <laughs> it's always weird. <clears throat> so I'm gonna give you Hermione. Standard. Good, solid, good, solid standard. I'm gonna give you Umbridge. <laughs> You're making this easy. <laughs> and I'm gonna give you Fleur. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. So <laughs> what I need to figure out is... No. Wh what are the three? No. <clears throat> okay, sure. Okay, I'll make it easy on you. Look. Hanky Panky, Mary, kindly push aside. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I guess Hanky Panky with Fleur. Uh-huh. Mary, Hermione. Uh-huh. Kindly push aside. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, weird. Huh? I know. So unpredictable. Right? <laughs> Umbridge could be fun. What a weird choice. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay, give me three. Toby the house elf. What? Who? Toby. Oh. <laughs> okay. Dobby? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I always said Dobby, but... That's fine. It I is get Dobby. that. Uh, Lucius Malfoy. Okay. You're going to be harder on me than I was on you. Well, I have to be. You're good at this game. <laughs> and Hagrid. <laughs> Blake! Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. I'm going to hanky panky Lucius Malfoy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to marry Hagrid because he's very sweet. Uh, and I will push Dobby aside. Sorry, Dobby. Heartless. You're so heartless. <laughs> Dobby's the sweetest one. <laughs> yeah, he would tend to every beck and call. Yeah, but do I want to be married to Dobby? No. And you want to be married to Hagrid? <laughs> See, no. these are good questions. <laughs> wow. This is the one you've gotten the most up in arms about. <laughs> of all of these you've seen me do. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sean. I know how to, I guess, hit the... You sure do. Uh -oh. <laughs> I think your snitch looks very cool. <laughs> Thank you. I do. I think your black cat looks great. Thanks. I didn't realize it would involve so much string. I know. I've just... Really thank God does. you got a lot of... <laughs> you like... I wonder if I should have gotten more. No. I think it's a, enough. Right. We'll find out. Cool. Well, would you like to answer some questions asked by our lovely viewers? I would love to. Hey, we're excited to ask you questions. So a popular one was, if you could uh, travel to any period in time, what would it be? Oh, uh, that is a great question. My answer is going to have, what? What? <laughs> have you ever tried to speak and <laughs> the words just don't come out? Uh, yes. What I would want to see out of history, because uh -huh. uh, there's so many cool things, but I think I would want to go back and see, like, distant relatives mm. like i'd want to see what their lives were like and like mm -hmm. where they came from and things that they did on a day-to-day -day basis or experienced or i'd just be curious to see that sort of through the generations that's cool yeah i that's mean a great answer you're never going to be able to see all the awesomeness that is um i mean while you time travel you know? <laughs> you're never going to be able to see all the great things in life mm. that happened but mm. I think that's I'd cool. love to see I'd love to see my family and see what where they came from. That's that is cool. Yeah, yeah what a good answer, Blake. Where is your family from? Uh, in the world, do you know? I think we're a little Russian and Polish and French. Interesting. Where are you from? Oh, nowhere exciting. Mostly England. Nar Sorry, England. Love you. Well, but at least you know you might have people from Narnia. <laughs> that is true. Maybe 
Maybe there's some Narnian in my heritage. You might be Narnian. That would be amazing. I'm going to go with that. Yeah. <laughs> I do love C.S. Lewis and Tolkien. Rosie is getting excited. Speaking of, did you ever read uh, The Golden Compass or the, the Dark Materials? I haven't, but I've heard they're great. Oh, God, you really need to. His Dark Materials was fantastic. I've heard they're really, really. Ashley Clements, I believe, is a big fan of that series. Ashley knows yeah. what she's talking about. Yeah, yeah, she does. Out of all the books all of the Poe Party authors have written, which are your favorites, and do you have least favorites? I love Frankenstein. Mm. I love Frankenstein. Really? Yeah. Interesting. And I, I also really love a lot of Edgar Allan Poe, mm -hmm. particularly in the Fall of the House of Usher. That's the only one I've ever read, and I remember so little about it. Really? Yeah. Oh. It is well worth a reread. And then I also get intimidated because there's so many great books that I've never read. Well, me as well. You know, mm -hmm. and I feel like now I have a, an obligation to get to know the author's work yeah. better than I had before. Do you have any least favorites? Anything by any of those authors that you had to read that you did not like? You know, people give Hemingway a lot of crap. Mm -hmm. Including us yeah. <laughs> in the show. <laughs> and I can understand that crap that he gets. Uh -huh. I didn't, I don't think I hated his work, um, but it wasn't my favorite. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know that I would be just. I can't remember if I've read any Hemingway. I don't think I have, but I may be wrong because I had to read a lot of things. Right. I don't love Jane Eyre, and I know this may really lose me some friends. Yeah, I'm much like more Jane of an Austen fan than a Bronte fan. That's also, as far as the Brontes go, I tried to read Wuthering Heights, and mm. I just just couldn't. Ugh, no. <laughs> did not like it at all. There's a really cool series, and to be honest, I've only read the first in the series, which is how cool it is, called The Air Affair. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's sort of a literary detective character Ooh. named Thursday Next. What? Yeah, which is a great name. Yeah. And she investigates these interesting experiences that happen in, in, in the books. And what's interesting is if, like, a serial killer were to enter the pages of... Jane Eyre, which is what the Eyre affair refers to, mm -hmm. he can alter the storyline. What? And so it's really cool to to know the book that it's in reference to and then also huh. watch how it all plays out. That's really interesting. Um, so if you haven't read that and you're looking for a new book, I'd, I'd recommend it. I'll have to um, check that out. It's good. That is cool. Yeah. I'm trying to think what my favorite Poe Party author book mm. is. None of my faves are at the Poe Party. <laughs> really? <laughs> I love Jane Austen. Yeah. Uh, I read Frankenstein and did not love it. Wow. I read it right next to Dracula because I had a gothic, whatever, course, mm. literature. <laughs> Hello. Uh, and I liked Dracula much better. Okay. So that's probably, I, I was, yeah. it was all in comparison. Sure. What was your favorite Poe Party prop? The goggles. Yeah. Yeah. Did they're... you? But did you grow to hate them at all? No. You, you know, liked them? I love them. Cool little uh, trivia about them. Yeah. Which you told me, I think. Oh. Oh yeah. Uh, was somebody, somebody pretty cool. <laughs> somebody pretty. Cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> uh, wore them in a music video. Uh, uh huh. And who was that? That's Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. Justin Biebs wore those goggles. With those exact goggles. Mm hmm. Pretty um, cool. So H G is hip. <laughs> Yeah. He is hip. He's a believer. <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid that you might hate them because I know the first day we had some trouble getting them like the correct whatever so they weren't constantly falling down your head. Yeah, they yeah. definitely would slip on and off, but I felt like that... That was true. That was, that was right for the character. Yeah, that's true. What's your favorite thing about playing HG? I, I, right, I would say like the props, right? No. Mm -hmm. My favorite thing about playing HG was the time traveling. Mm-hmm. All the time traveling. I All the do. time traveling you did for research? Yeah, I, I had to do a lot of time traveling <laughs> for, to get into character. Yeah, totally. Yeah, um, of course you did. So that was, that was probably my favorite thing. <laughs> That's so awesome. I'm so jealous that you got to do that. Well, I mean, you can come next time. Really? Yeah. Thanks. Do you mind if I compliment your accent? I'm, I'm not going to stop you. Because <laughs> I think it's great. I... And... You were a little hesitant to do it in rehearsals. I was, that is for sure. And we were all like, hmm, is Blake going to do an accent? He better. And then you showed up on set, and it was perfect. Well, perfect is a word, a dangerous word, but I... I think it's great. Thank you. It was... I'm still nervous about it. And there it is. It's on... Now it's on 
forever. You shouldn't be because someone asked you if it was your real accent, so they I think did. you passed the test. Which is nice to hear. Yeah. Um, I mean, I feel ya. I had to do a Russian accent for spies, and I'd never done that before. Yeah, but your Russian accent was great. Well, thanks. I didn't know how to do it when I got cast. <laughs> So that's you would not just have known. all to say. You wouldn't have known. Because they were like, oh, great. We want you to be this Russian girl. Can you do a Russian accent? And I was like, no. <laughs> we'll figure it out. But now you can, though. Yeah, now I can. That's about all I can do. <laughs> I think I only have capacity for one accent one at accent? a time. Yeah. And I try to do other ones, and they all come out Russian now. Even your Scottish? <laughs> yes, mostly Scottish. Mostly Scottish. They have a lot in common. It's the R's. Do they? Well, yeah. that, make me, yeah, that makes sense, actually. And Scottish was, like, the only other one I could do. <laughs> So now I've lost it. Accents can be scary, but I think you did a great job. Well, thank you. Yeah, I think everybody in our show has great accents. Yeah, Ashley's accent is spectacular. It's killer. So is Tom's. Mm -hmm. Great. Clayton actually lived in Bulgaria. Well, that was just unfair. I know. I like, can't remember if that's right, but somewhere over there. So that's what he had to draw from. Yeah. What's similar or different about working on smaller slash indie projects versus ginormous ones? He cites Glitch, which I don't know what that is. And Pope Party versus like Thor, because you're in Thor. Yes. Yeah. Uh, good question. Who asked it? Lies. Do you know Lies? I do now. <laughs> his name is John Calendar, but his Tumblr name is Lies. Hey, John. And he loves us and Pope Party, and we love him. Yeah. And he's great, and he knows a lot about birds. And we got the Raven Seal of Approval from Lies. On See, that's got to be pretty Raven valuable. Races. Yeah, so we were really happy. Yeah, that's great. And what a great question. Yeah. What's the same and what's different? Uh, Glitch was an indie film that I had done uh, with Lucas Neff and oh, cool. Lamorne Morris from New Girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. He's so funny. He's great. Yeah? He's hysterical. That's great. I, I really done, like him on New Girl. I had done a commercial with him as well. Oh, cool. For Pizza Hut. And I think they cut him out of it. Really? But things worked out well for him. Yeah, he's fine. You know, so he's fine. Yeah, he's doing fine. Did you just, like, audition for Thor? And then they're like, yep. And you're like, okay. We'll yeah, it was, it was a role of, uh, of a techie. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of sort of jargon, you know, mm. about satellites and data. I auditioned, and then I, f I found out I was one of their top choices. And then I had to wait. And then I had to wait for Kenneth Branagh, who directed it, to watch the tapes and see if he agreed and he did thankfully and i actually found out on my birthday that uh, i got the role which was cool. really cool walking on the set was incredible because it's not just like not just shooting in uh a location that already exists they had transformed this mountainside into this huge it's the scene where uh his hammer is surrounded by the government compound and oh, all the yeah. white all mm -hmm. the white tunnels and tents and they just have like cranes and like they're making it rain and you just it's everything you can imagine when you're you know, mm -hmm. you're walking into a whole world that is make-believe. It's just remarkable. And then you're sitting down and you're hanging with Tom Hiddleston and what? Kenneth Branagh in between takes. And you're just sitting there with them and you're like, hello, everybody. <laughs> How's it going? That's crazy. It was wild. That's so crazy. I would say that the stakes are high on both fronts mm -hmm. on the indie and on the on the big budget because mm. it's different stakes obviously but everybody's trying to get the job done and everybody's got a lot to do mm -hmm. stakes were certainly high on po party yeah no you you have to squeeze a lot in and that's what you find it's all relative mm -hmm. you know sure they have more money on a big budget but they also have a lot they need to get done in a short amount of time and that's always been the case on any mm -hmm. anything you're shooting poor blake has some allergies and uh you suffered the most of all of the Poe Party cast. <laughs> you also got injured on the first day. I did get injured, yes. But no one would know. No, thankfully. Um, that attic was pretty tight. It was tight. I smacked my... <laughs> <laughs> I was moving between the wall and the cupboard in the attic, and I was whipping around quickly, and I went to leave, and I smacked my head against oh. the ceiling, oh. and my face flew into the wall. Oh. The cupboard. It was like this perfect... What a great way to start the shoot. Great way. <laughs> I was like, that's going to bruise. Well, we thankfully covered it up with makeup and yeah. hopefully it didn't hurt no. too bad. Um, but you were always a little sniffly. A little sniffly. Because that house is pretty dusty. Yeah, it's a beautiful house though. Yeah, and it was perfect, but uh, yeah. we felt bad for you because... <laughs> I had a couple takes. rough days there, but yeah. it was it was good. You were Everybody a trooper, was taking care of that's me. for sure. You Couldn't did not complain about it at all. We just look over and your whole face was red. <laughs> We're just like, oh no, Blake. Yeah. Oh no. But it was worth it. You, sometimes you just, you got to go through that. 
Yeah, that's true. Now I heard a rumor that you've worked with someone that's having a really good year. And that yes. someone is Leslie Odom Jr. Is this yeah. true? It is true, yeah. Leslie and I did a commercial together. That's cool. Five years ago. Wow. And it was pretty remarkable to sort of be on Broadway at the same time as him. and watch, Yeah, that's so cool. Watch him. You know, I went to the show and saw him and as incredible as Hamilton is, it's even more incredible to see somebody you know do totally. what they were born to do mm. and kick ass. That's so cool. And he was fantastic and so deserving of that Tony. That's so cool. Yeah. That's awesome. People will be really excited to hear that. Yeah, he's great. Tell us a scary story, Shanice says. A scary story is getting cast in Poe Party and being told you need to have a British accent. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the scariest story I have. <laughs> but you did so well. Well, thank. You did so well. Thankfully, you're a little C three PO. That's funny. That's but a- did you see that we did three fictional characters yesterday for HG? No, really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who'd you choose? Was it Ichabod Crane? Mm-hmm. Rosie Stapp. That's a Ichabod good one. Crane, C three PO, and uh, the Doctor. Doctor Who. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Who would your three be? What, me or Annabelle? You, and then Annabelle. I did, this is a weird meme. Okay, this is my chance to come out and talk about this meme. I almost didn't do it because I don't, I was like, I'm going to put up these people and everyone's going to think I'm so full of myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, my three are Leslie Nope. Well, I also tried to think about different, like, mediums. Sure. And she's my favorite. Like, Parks and Rec is my favorite TV show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and great. she is meant to represent the ambitious parts of me. Mm-hmm. And sometimes the, like, a little crazy parts of me. And Jane Bennett, who I wanted to include because of LBD and of the Bennett sisters. Yes. I am most like Jane. That's great. Including uh, her need to sort of stand up for herself sometimes. Mm-hmm. I struggle with that. And Anna from Frozen because everyone was like... Oh, that's you. Oh, that, that, look who it is. That's you, which is fair. The quirkiness, that's that's mm-hmm. for sure. And yeah. also just sort of her naivete, something I've had to struggle with. Her constant desire to build a snowman. <laughs> I just want to build a snowman so bad. No, I don't actually like snow that much. What would yours be? You don't like snow that much? I, I don't like being in it for a, a long time. I enjoy looking at it, for yeah. sure. But you don't want someone to cover you in a pile of snow. Nah, I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll just cross that off my list. Does so that mess up some plans you had? I had some major plans for you. <laughs> I was building an igloo. We don't have to talk about it. I'm sorry, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> Who would yours be? I don't know. That's a great question. Harry Potter. Mm-hmm. I guess everybody's going to say that, though, right? No, I haven't actually seen anyone say Harry Potter. I would say Harry Potter. I would say the tree from The Giving Tree. Ooh. And, Good one. And either, and then it's a tie between three different options. I would go with Edward Scissorhands. Uh-huh. Maleficent. What? Or uh, the Goblin King from Labyrinth. Interesting. And not that I'm really like the Goblin King from Labyrinth, but I dressed up as that character for third grade Halloween. <laughs> so he's always kind of been with me. May I ask why Maleficent? I love Maleficent. Maleficent has always been my favorite Disney villain. Hell yeah. She's by far the best. She's incredible. She turns into a dragon. Oh, which so cool. Along with, along with time travel, I do believe in dragons. Do you? Yes. Yeah, I can get behind that. I mean, who can't get behind that? Yeah, seriously. And and there's a part of her that I understand. Mm. Is that creepy? You know what I love about... No. You know what I love about her? What? Is that she is probably... Well, she's green, but she's so beautiful. Yeah. She's such a beautiful... She's, I would say, the most beautiful Disney villain, and it is never once commented on. It's not, like, yeah. the source of her evilness, mm-hmm. whereas with, like, Snow White's queen, like, she wants to be beautiful. It's that's just... True. That's true. She just is, yeah. and I think that's so cool. I just loved her stillness and her power <laughs> and, and her... <laughs> when I was a kid, because she has that staff mm-hmm. with her bird, 
yeah. and she strokes it with her middle two fingers, and I would walk around doing that when I was a kid because that was really cool. <laughs> That's awesome. She's so rad. Yeah, she's great. I love that. How's it going? It's getting there. I think it looks awesome. I need to fix my my circle. It's looking a little mm, mm -hmm. not as circly. So no, I think it looks good. I'm going to add a couple more pins. That is, I didn't think about a circle. I didn't think about how that's kind of a difficult shape. Yeah, for this particular craft. Well, neither did I, apparently. <laughs> it's not as difficult as Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> Those are beautiful. They took us like five hours. Those are beautiful. <laughs> if you were a viewer of Poe Party and didn't know the story, just by the episodes so far, who would you think the murderer was? Can you answer that objectively? It's kind of hard. That's tricky. I should abstain. Mm -hmm. I, I should, I, yeah. I don't know what I would think. I think I'm too close to it. I to think that's part to. of it. That you're just kind of like, I don't know if I can separate what I know is coming versus what has happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I've seen a lot of the fan theories and I, I, okay. I think they're great. <laughs> well, how's it going, Blake? I think. Have you created your masterpiece? My masterpiece is. <laughs> it's done? Yeah, my little. Monster. Can you turn it around and show it to us? Sure. I yeah. think it's beautiful. Ta da! Ta -da. Oh, I love it! I, I like it. I think the white adds a lot. I should have done given him a, a little lightning bolt, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, but. yeah. That's okay. I think, it, I think it's wonderful. Yeah, my little snitch. My little snitch. That's so good. Here's my little cat. Little kitty cat. So great. Meow. Now I feel in the Halloween spirit. Now I do. It's probably my favorite. Is it? Uh, holiday. holiday. Yeah. It's not mine, but it's growing on me. What's yours? Thanksgiving. But those are both sort of with you got some fall colors, you know. Yeah. You, I don't like right. I don't like de the death and the scary stuff. I don't. I can enjoy. appreciate that. Yeah. But, but Sean I, loves Halloween. I love Halloween. I also I love the costumes and yeah. I I won every year for best costume in high school. So. Did you? Yeah. Come on, guys. So have you planned one for this year? No. Do you do that anymore? Uh, I try to, yeah. yeah. But it's always a last minute. Yeah. Night before. Yeah. That's why I got disenchanted with it, because I loved it as a kid. But then it was just hard as an adult. To keep it up. Yeah. Sean and I have had a pretty good track record these last couple years, so now I feel like the pressure's on. I've always wanted to be, uh, go with somebody and be a heffalump and a woozle. <laughs> that would have always been like... Pretty good. That and also an hourglass. Because I was really into inanimate objects Oh. in high school uh, for is costumes. That, is that yeah. what you would win best costume was being? Yeah, a lava lamp, a grandfather oh, clock. What? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Grandfather clock's probably my favorite. But. That, or is, is there a picture of that? There are photos. Whoa. I don't know where. <laughs> Maybe you'll have to dig those up. Will I? <laughs> really? Is there anything else you would like to say before we I feel end our day? I need to talk for a second about oh. how awesome the impression is <laughs> that Felicia did. Of you? Of me. Whoa. Of H.G. Wells, really. Felicia! Freaking great. That's pretty exciting. It's the first time I've ever had anybody do something like that for something I've been involved in. That's and cool. It's pretty wild to see. And you should keep doing them. Yeah. They're great and... Uh, Thank you. That's so cool. Thank you for liking it enough to do it. Yeah, it's pretty neat when people make stuff based on our stuff. Yeah. It makes me really happy. It's pretty wild. Where can people find you on the internet? Uh, if they want, if you want them to yes, find you. Yes, uh, I'm on Instagram and Twitter and Blake Silver, my my name. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. There you go. And keep watching Poe Party. Please do. For HG, whose fate is undecided at this current moment. Thanks so much, Blake, for being my guest. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. These are great. Until next time, everyone. Until next time. Craft your truth. I caught, I caught the snitch. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Nikki Goad for sponsoring this video and supporting my YouTube and acting career. She's really awesome to do that, and it means a whole heck of a lot to me. Thanks, Nikki.